is the book of Isaiah, chapter 14, verse 12. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground which didst weaken the nations? Isaiah chapter 14, and verse 12. I want to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rucha Kodash. Double honors to our venerable apostles and all those a great millstone who rule well. And peace and blessings to the Lord's elect, the house of David. All right, it's the brother Aharon coming back at you with another lesson. Lord willing to be edifying and uplifting onto the elect. All right, and uh, I'm going to go jump right into it. All right. Um, this is dated November 20th, okay, 2022. All right, the year where Yahweh Bashem Yahshai turns up. All right, and um, this is dealing more into the the uh, the creation of the MOTB, all right, which, which is pretty much the last major prophecy before the coming destruction, all right, and the return of our Lord. Okay, now, that will pretty much signify the end of this world as you see presently constituted. Okay, now... To measure how close we are to that end, this right here will show you something, all right? It says, U.S. banks are teaming up to explore the possibilities of a digital dollar with the Federal Reserve, okay? And we've been talking about this, going into the CBDC and so on and so forth, all right, pretty much all year all year long, okay? And um, as we're pretty much winding down this calendar year, okay, November is pretty much over, all right? We've got December coming up. Okay, we're going to see how the Lord, you know, puts things in place, all right, for 2023, okay? And I believe through the Spirit that we're going to definitely see, all right, the MOTB in some form, okay, which will fulfill the prophecy of Revelation 13, verse 16, and verse 17, and verse 18, okay? And we're going to see people, all right, being, you know what, MC, MC, MC chipped, all right? <laughs> you know what, uh, RFID'd. Okay, um, all the technology that they that they're building now is is pushing for that. Okay, uh, this whole carbon uh, uh, tracking, all this BS that they're doing, the climate change and all that will lead all right to the Karagma. Okay, and so will the uh, CBDC. Okay, so let's read. It says several U.S. banking institutions are working on a proof of concept, proof of concept, which is what showing proof of your ID identity. Right? Proof. Over the past two years, we heard all about proof. Proof of what? Proof of Vanessa. That was preparation for the proof of concept. Digital money platform that could morph into a CBDC. Okay? And you, we know, uh, I believe I did a video on this a couple of days ago. I right, go into the, the pilot program that they have out there in NYC. Okay? That there's major banks. And I believe this is pretty much going into that, but a little bit more details. Okay? It says the financial institutions are collaborating with an, an arm of the Federal Reserve Bank of New York for the experiment. Okay. Across the world, central banks are racing toward the development of digital versions of their currencies. As the cryptocurrency industry reels under the recent FTX implosion, which once again, all these current events since 2020, all right, and prior, all right, has been in preparation for this time. Okay, there is no new thing under the sun. Neither is there, uh, uh, um, um, these things don't, they don't happen by accident. They're always planned ahead of time. Okay, going back to the tried and true problem, reaction, solution. Okay, and at this point, you know that there ain't no such thing as a conspiracy theory because all those so-called conspiracy theories are becoming or have become facts, reality, where the World Economic Forum are coming out boldly and telling you with guys like Klaus Schwab, and if you take it a step further, guys like um, Noah Harari, okay, he's coming out and they're coming out and basically just telling the world that, look, the future is in our hands. Everything that's coming around, everything that you're seeing is worked on, produced, created, controlled by these so-called elites, okay? Don't be deceived by what you're seeing with uh, Elon Musk, okay, because guess what? He's also part of the plan, and we told you this. Okay, don't buy into the hype of, oh, he's going to give us Twitter and we're going to have freedom of speech and all this BS. Mm -mm. It doesn't work like that. Understand that if he was really truly for the people, he would not have the power he has. Okay, it says um, as a crypto as a cryptocurrency industry reels under the recent FTX explosion, 
uh, financial institutions are teaming up to create a digital asset settlement platform using DLT technology. Okay, so there was a FTX implosion, okay, which caused a whole lot of uh, 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 shaking, okay, in the so-called crypto world. All right, and that's the same thing that's about to happen very soon with the power. Okay, they've been saying it going back to last year with something known as Cyber Polygon. Okay, where they did a, a test run on if all the uh, electricity was to be cut out, how would that affect our daily lives? Okay, and Klaus Schwab came out and said that something like that all right, would be so catastrophic that it would deeply affect, okay, the structure, the deeper structure, the structure itself will be deeply affected. Okay, the food will be affected. Okay, the health system will be affected. All right, and basically security. And that opens up the door for them to give in the solution, which will end up being the MOTB, period. Because it covers all these things, whether you're financially uh, not able to, to make ends meet, well, they have that ready for you. And it's already pre-programmed. So within a week or a month, you might get maybe $1,000 or less. <laughs> okay, you have $35 a week. Okay, let's make it real. You have $35 a week. All right, 35 CBDCs a week. And within that week, you have to spend that money. But you're not just spending on anything you want. Mm -mm. Maybe your 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 carbon uh, footprint says that you know you've been eating way too much meat this week. So maybe this week, the funds that that's been given to you will only be allocated and only be able to work with vegetables, lab-grown vegetables. So you gotta you know order that. That's the only way that your 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 account will be valid okay you can't spend it on, on liquor you can't spend it on, on 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 food that 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 that's like maybe outside of what you can spend it on okay so it's going to be a complete control complete control and the system is being set up now okay that system that john saw the beast system is being set up right now as we speak okay and it, it's it's a it's like like klaus schwab is saying it's a deep uh, infrastructural change Okay, and it's all going to be led by technology. All right, it says the co a, a coalition of financial institutions has announced the launch of a proof of concept digital money platform called the Regulated Liability Network, which is RLN. Okay, and who's going to be regulating this? It's not just the government. No, it's uh the the private and 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 and, and public. Okay, a partnership. It's the PPP. Okay, that's going to be the governing body. All right, these these private uh, entities working together alongside your so-called governments. Okay, World Economic Forum is a private entity. The Federal Reserve Bank is a private entity. Okay, just to name a few. All right, these two will be working hand in hand. All right, with the World Economic uh, World Health Organization, which is also a private entity. Okay, and it's also what the, the number one funder of World Health Organization is who Bill Fucking Gates. All right, check that out. The same nigga pushing for eugenics, pushing for depopulation, and so on and so forth. He's at the front, forefront, all right, of the World Health Organization, which is set to have basically control over basically all the nations. All right, in the year, in the next year, you're going to see a lot of draconian measures being brought down by the World Health Organization, and these other countries will have no choice but to, uh, um, you know. Uh, apply these regulations on their people okay 2020 2021 2022 you didn't really see <clears throat> that much of a uh, government uh, uh, oppression on their people but guess what that was just a resting period for the next phase like what you saw in 2021 okay when you saw these these troops these uh police officers especially out there in france okay germany different parts of the world they use their, their, their so-called police to come against the people heavy. You have people getting beat up, dragged on the ground. I, oh, shit, look, China, what was happening out there is still happening now. Okay? And you have Americans or so-called American leaders talking about they're in competition with China. Oh, China has technology and, you know, we have to, you know, build up our infrastructure to, to outdo places like China. What the hell? You want to outdo China? China is a pretty communist country now. If you want to outdo China, that means that you're about to create a whole new world of communism. But it's going to be a what? Technocracy. 
okay the uh the 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 the, the internet of things and the internet of bodies which will be controlled okay it says the aim of RN, RLN, which is Regulated Liability Network, according to the participating entities, is to create, quote, innovation opportunities that will improve the current state of financial settlements. <sighs> it says the press release notes that the project will be relying on distributed ledger technology, DLT, and the POC will last... Um, you see point of i think poc is what point of concept no proof of concepts a lot proof of concept will will last for 12 weeks right 12 week uh, program it says um it's about three months right it says only uh us dollars will be used for the duration of the experiment and will draw participation from a number of commercial banks and regulated banking uh, regulated non-banking entities Whew. the poc will also test the feasibility of a programmable digital money design that is potentially extensible to other digital assets, as well as the viability of the proposed system within existing laws and regulations, read the statement. The institutions partaking in the pilot include BNY, Mellon, Citi, HSBC, MasterCard, PNC Bank, Swift, Wells Fargo, Truist, US Bank, and TD Bank. These entities will receive help from Amazon or Amazon Web Services um, for te technological or technology support, while legal and advisory services will be provided by Sul Sullivan and Cromwell LLP and Deloitte, respectively. You see, those are the private partnerships. You see that? Mm -hmm. It says, the statement notes that after the com completion of the 12-week experiment, the group is, quote, not committed to any future phases of work once the POC has been completed, end quote, and is not meant to sway the government for the issuance of a central bank digital currency. And we know that to be a lie. OK, why would you do a whole 12 week uh, test on potentially having a CBDC and then turn around and say, we're not even looking to issue, uh, sway the government to issue a CBDC? What's the point of that? So why do all this stuff? Why? Hmm? It says, quote, it is not intended to advance any specific policy outcome, which we know is a lie. That's exactly what it's for. OK, nor is it intended to signal that the Federal Reserve will make any eminent decisions about the appropriateness of issuing a retail or wholesale B CBDC, nor how one would necessarily be designed. The group said we know that to be a lie. OK, the CBDC hate uh, race heats up. Central banks are exploring the digital iterations of their national currencies with renewed frenzy in recent months. China's digital yuan has emerged as the most anticipated with a robust test pilot spanning over 11 cities and being deployed in the sporting events in the country. The best, so we got to pay attention to China. Okay, soon we will, we're going to see them again. You know, you know what? At RFID. Okay, and they're going to they're test that out because they already have the... Um, social credit system down there okay they have those digital uh qr code scanners which will turn into chip scanners okay chip readers all right so the system is already set up right that that what is that what, what did john say that what that no man might buy or sell okay once it's regulated by the government it's a central bank digital currency if you ain't a central bank you're not going to be regulating it you can't oh i'm gonna hide my central bank digital currencies from the from the government like no it's never going to work like that. Just like how your bank account, they can see all the money that you have in your bank account. Whatever you have in there, they see it. Whatever transactions you make, they see it. That's why they'll send you a monthly bank statement, right? At the end of the month, you get in the mail, how, however you do it, paperless or whatever. You get a bank statement that shows you all your transactions that you made. Okay, when you go on your app, you know, whether you have Chase or American uh, Bank, uh, not American Bank, Bank of America, <laughs> Okay, all these different banks, TD Bank, whatever, right? Guess what? Capital One, uh, Wells Fargo, all of them, all these banks are controlled by the Rothschilds. Every central bank you see out there isn't an individual thing that's good for the people. No, they have different names, but they all go back to one thing, okay, which is control. Now, um, China already has the system already set up. Okay, so we need to pay attention to see the next coming months. How are they going to transition 
all right, from where they at now, what's, what are the events that will happen to lead to that um, necessity of people getting microchipped? Because that will be the thing. It will be pushed as a necessity, as a solution to any problem that people might face. So we got to pay attention to the problem that they're going to create in order to make it convenient for people to say, oh, I think I need this. Okay. So let's read. It says the Bank uh, for International Settlements, BIS, has also carried out a series of pilots to test the use of CBDCs in cross-border transactions. Thailand, Israel, Sweden, Hong Kong, and Norway are part of the countries collaborating with the BIS, which is Bank of International Settlements, in the multilateral CBDC experiments. Okay? So all these experiments are going to lead to what? Going to lead to the MOTB. Okay, now I have another one that I want to tap into real fast. Okay, it's going to be, we're going to breeze right through this. Okay. This is dated November 14th, 2022, and it says EU says it can have a digital ID wallet by 24, regardless of challenges. Okay, that means that by 2024, that in their mind, they, they, they hope we're going to get there, but a low willing we don't. <laughs> All right. By 2024, they want to have the system already set up where it's already in use. Okay, it might not be uh, a full transition yet, per se, but see, they don't have enough time. You know, they don't have that much time to be doing all these tests and experiments. So they're going, that's why it says, regardless of challenges, they're just going to bring it out. Okay. This is the European Union is preparing for the 2024 release of its digital ID wallet, which would enable EU residents to store digital identity credentials, such as a national ID, driver license, driving license, and bank account details. Okay. Now that means 2023 will be um, a year where they, they, they use to set up the year 2024. So 2023 is going to be hellish. Okay. They have to destroy whatever that's left of these people. All right. In order to set up that new, the new world. Okay. It says in order to stick to this schedule, the EU plans to publish standards and specifications before 2023 says remote, uh, Romana Jerk Jerkovic, a member of the European parliament and member of the EU's com com committee on industry, research, and energy, according to Rancature. It says, quote, the legislative process could be co completed by next spring, setting the stage for the wallet to go live in 2024, end quote, Djurkovic explains. Under the plan, EU member states will have 12 months to issue their wallets once the regulation is adopted. Damn. <laughs> it says the committee is expected to vote on revised EIDAS regulations, I guess it would be electronic identification, whatever. I don't know the A or whatever. It might, it might, it might explain later. Oh, I might have missed it. I didn't see it. Anyway, let's keep reading. It says um before the end of the year too, the rancator or uh, rancator an analysis notes that the EU digital ID wallet initiative has been criticized by some companies, industry groups, and digital rights advocates which may slow its adoption. So what do you think they're going to do? They're going to have to frame mischief by law. <laughs> okay. They have to create a law. Okay. That will bind all these nations. Okay. And it will come through what? Some type of um, a health crisis because in a state of an emergency, you got to do what, what, what it takes to get out of that emergency, the crisis. You do what it takes. It's necessary. It's safe and effective, right? It says in particular, Internet browser makers Google and Mozilla have said that new EU trust certificates would be less secure than their existing uh, existing security measures and would be technically challenging to implement in time. Trade groups and companies also have shared concerns about the EU digital ID wallet, saying it would be costly for them to inter integrate or uh, integrate it with their own infrastructure. So guess what? The infrastructure has to change. Okay. Some skeptical privacy advocates, and that word privacy, it will be um, will be uh, obsolete by the year 2023. You'll see, that'll be the next push, okay, to do away with the concept of privacy, because that has to go away in order for them to give that MOTB, okay, because once you have that chip in you, there ain't no privacy, forget about all that, okay, and that's why the scripture says uh, that he receiveth, okay, those that receive the mark. Meaning what? You're going to give up sovereignty. You're going to be the one to say yes to it for whatever reason, whether it's because you're under pressure 
or you just you just fall for the temptation whatever it is you have to be the one to go out there just like the v you got to go out there and you got to take it ain't nobody coming and forcing your house you know like homo you know <laughs> former governor homo talking about we need to go to the houses we knock on their doors we need to grab these people put them in their cars drive far away roll up those arms those sleeves and grab those arms and get those shots in arms that that's that's not gonna happen okay they're not gonna come out here you know it's gonna be you know if you end up in a c camp it might be a different story but try not to end up in a c camp <laughs> okay all right so let's keep going it says um uh some skeptical privacy advocates have pointed to controversy earlier this year about the use of unique identifiers in digital IDs. Ooh, ooh. Okay, that means what? Subdermal. That would be the only way you can have some type of unique identifier besides the steps of uh, fingerprinting, iris scanning, all right, going to whole biometrics thing. Okay, the next step of uh, uh, complete unique identifiers will be for you to have that MOTB inside of you. Okay, underneath your skin, which would be what? In chart will have radio frequency, obviously, which it means it can be scanned to anything, okay? Any QR code, whatever, it can scan that shit. Your phone will scan you, okay? Um, you can walk around, pay with your hands. Like, I mean, weird shit, weird shit, man, okay? And only these demons will be able to what? Partake in this shit, okay? But ultimately, at the end of it all, guess what? Yahweh Shem Yahweh will destroy every last one of you niggas who take this thing. He doesn't care why you did it. As long as you take it, you're going to be destroyed. And guess what? For you Jakes out there who think, oh, I'm going to take it, live, and then right, right before the missiles come, pull it, I'm going to pop it out. No, no, no. No, no, no. You think Esau ain't think about all that? His thing is control. Once I put this in this person, I have him. It ain't going to be, you're not going to take it out. Cut my finger and, nope, not happening. Okay? It says, an EDR's, uh, EDRI, EDRI representative claimed they will be elite they would be illegal or unconstitutional in a number of nations including Austria the Netherlands and Germany despite these concerns EU trust services for digital IDs are slowly moving forward okay and guess what they're moving very quickly so fast that people don't even notice that something is going on that is why the scripture says that um, when they shall say peace and safety all right then sudden destruction cometh upon them Okay, so they're not going, they, it's going to be sudden. They're not going to notice it because it's happening so fast in the background that they, don't, can't, they can't even see it. Okay, but ultimately, all right, with how fast they're moving, remember, speed kills. Okay, with how fast they're moving because they don't have much time, they're going to get sloppy. Some ends might not be closed. Like they said, we're going to bring it out regardless of any challenges. Well, you're not sure. You don't know what kind of challenges you're about to face. It tells you that in the book of Job, the 20th chapter. Okay, that's the spirit brakta is 144. All right, but you don't know, all right, what you're about to face. Okay, scripture says every hand of the wicked shall shall fall upon them. Okay, meanwhile the laborers, okay, the people, the workers, they're not gonna be down with this shit. And most people, like I I got, I've said before, all right, most people will be considered working class. Anyone who's not part of the elites, you work for the elites, whether you know it or not. Okay. When you go to work, you get up every day, you have a corporate job. Guess what? You're running a company business that they pay you to do. Okay? And it helps with their pockets. Whether, whether, whether you know it or not. Whether you're working for the state, whether you're working for the county, whether you're working a private business, whatever. You're all working for these elites. Okay? And ultimately, their plan will fail. All right? Because what? They're shooting too far up in the heavens. Okay? You cannot be God. You're not going to take his throne. You're going to be destroyed. Period. All right? Isaiah 14, verse 12, once again. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? Okay, and these Christians, all right, shit, I used to think that. That old man, there was a war in heaven and Lucifer was kicked out and he tried to rebel against the Most High. False. False. There ain't no such thing. Okay, he is the Most High for a reason. You think anyone is going to come against him? Are you kidding me? Huh? It says, how art thou fallen, O Lucifer, son of the morning? So this Lucifer is talking about who? These elites. Okay, Lucifer going to what? Light bearer. Okay, the so-called enlightened ones, known to the world as the Illuminati, okay, the secret societies that try to run this world and they call everything that brings out the truth to expose them, they call it a so-called conspiracy theory. Guess what? You've been exposed. 
2 Thessalonians, the second chapter tells you that, that you will be exposed by this truth. Okay, that's why you're trying to deem everything that's true, a conspiracy theory, uh, a hate a hate speech, anti-Semitism, all kinds of weird, dumb shit. And guess what? Your lies are catching up to you. You're getting boxed in. Every corner you turn, you're getting boxed in. That is what Job, that's the prophecy in the book of Job. Okay. <laughs> it says, how art thou cut down to the ground, which didst weaken the nations? How did you weaken the nations? Through your, through your uh, democracy? Through your money, through your military, okay, through your diplomatic uh, uh, um, ties, all right, basically your control. I mean, these devils, they show you that in the video games, all right, in the movies, the music, the documentaries that they do, okay, when you read their documents, what they do, what they actually do is what? They, they, they create problems so they can have a solution. They got to create a problem, all right, covertly. And then openly come out and talk about it. Oh my goodness, look what's going on. We need to help these people. And then they go in there and then they just take over and destroy those people, man. That's what these devils do. And guess what? Your fucking bullshit is catching up to you. All right? And nobody believes your BS no more. Your narrative is failing. That's why you're going to come down upon the earth with great wrath. <laughs> okay? Because you don't have much time. All right, 2024. Get the fuck out of here. Let's continue. It says, verse 13, Isaiah 13, uh, 14, verse 13 says, for thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of the Most High. I will sit up. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. Okay, so you think that you're gonna be all right, uh, 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 ruling this earth forever? If we're able to create, like Harari, if we're able to create, and we have a very good chance of creating this, um, uh, this cyber shit, you know, organic uh, life. Then, you know, we're going to live forever. We're going to be above the God of the Bible. Guess what? That is a vain, vain thought. That's a, a vain imagination. Okay? Why do the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing? That is a very vain thing, which will lead to your destruction. Ultimately, your slavery for a thousand years. Okay? All right? Because what? Because you say you will, you sit on the, uh, upon the mount of the congregation the sides of the north who who is the congregation the congregation is talking about the israelites okay verse 14 says i will ascend above the heights of the clouds i will be like the most high which you will never be like the most high okay you know why because you're you were created to do evil you don't have a balance esau does not have a balance you're a false you have a false balance which is an abomination to the heavenly father okay you create evil and you call it good you don't have common sense. You don't know how to rule. You don't have the qualities of a man who can rule because you don't have good inside of you. You're the wicked. Okay? That's why we live in a wicked society, a, lit, a wicked world, a wicked empire, a wicked time, which is which will soon be over, as you can see going on around the world. Okay? The truth is, 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 is flourishing. People are gravitating towards this truth and pushing away the lies and the deception. You got people saying they're going back to Africa, you know, uh, leave America, you know, don't stay over here, this and that. Jake is waking up. And those are the most important people on the earth to wake up. Okay? The Chinese people could wake up. Fucking Africans could wake up. It doesn't matter. The only people that matter who have to wake up for all these things to change will be the Israelites. Okay? The biblical Israelites. Because when we wake up and you see it happening, all right, it starts with the prophets. Okay? We've woken up. Okay? Uh, when when the rest of the people wake up through the spirit and probably how about you now shy there's gonna be a war out here okay and you're not gonna get your new world order okay because you will be once again supplanted all right and uprooted completely all right when your house shy gets back here okay it says <laughs> i will ascend above the heights of the clouds i will be like the most high guess what your house shy gonna meet you he's coming and he's gonna meet your ass right in the heavens and guess what according to prophecy we all know what happens Right? Verse 15. Yet thou shalt be brought down to hell to the sides of the pit. So your whole new world order to create this new shit. Guess what? The Lord said he's going to bring you down, man. Okay? So you're not going to go nowhere. Your, 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 your plans, 2023, 2024, guess what? They will not come to fruition. All right? And we're going to prove it to you when the time comes. Verse 16. They that see thee shall narrowly look upon thee and consider thee, saying... Is this the man that made the earth to tremble, that did shake the, the kingdoms, that made the world as a wilderness and destroyed the cities thereof, that opened not the house of his prisoners? Yes. And it starts with you Amalekites. 
you so-called Jews, okay? But you're not Jews. You call you call yourself Jewish, okay? Because you wish to be a Jew, which will never happen, okay? And you're going to be destroyed very soon, all right? Let's jump down to verse 21. It says, prepare slaughter for his children for the iniquity of their fathers. So it's based on history. It's not a new thing. No, you're going to get paid for what you've done in the past. You're not going to get away with it and try to escape you know, your, your, your judgment by creating a new world order with technology and people are going to be caught into it. They can't fight. No, 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 mm -mm. no, no, no. All right. No, it says prepare slaughter for his children for the iniquity of their fathers. What is the iniquity? The iniquity is when you did to the children of Israel. OK, for the for that violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee, man. All right. It says that they do not rise nor possess the land nor fill the face of the world with cities. All right. So there's going to be a stop. All right. Put to your kingdom. And it's going to be what? The destruction of this kingdom and a new setup, which will begin with the nation of Israel, starting with the elect when your house gets back. And that time is fast approaching. OK, we know it. All right. We know it's coming. All right. And all these things that you devils are doing is perfect for the times that we're entering into. OK, to fulfill biblical prophecy. OK, and once you fulfill this biblical prophecy, the next biblical prophecy will be fulfilled, which will be thermonuclear fire and destruction upon Babylon the Great and its inhabitants. If you're on this land and you don't get beamed up by Yahweh Yahushai, you will taste death, which is the second death by fire and destruction. I'm going to leave it off there, Lord willing, you've been edified. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rukha Kodash. The water you have, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, and until next time, Shalom.